Hey, sorry about that. Uh, the video got cut off, so I had to reset it. Uh, so what I want you to do is let's just review real quick that if this is Z, is here, and what's the geometric translation? Nothing is happening here. What's happening from Z to Z minus 2? So this is left 2. This is up 4 spaces. And this is, yeah, I'll just write it real quick. This is uh, left 2. This is up 4. And this is what? Left 2, up 4. Right? And that's what's happening with uh, Z with respect to this, adding this uh, complex number. Okay? Now going through these concepts, uh, what happens when we multiply by I, don't you remember it was that uh, 90 degree rotation, right, that we were doing? So, and with respect to the origin, taking the complex conjugate was a reflection over the real axis, and taking the negative of the complex conjugate will reflect it over the uh, y-axis, right? You see, for B, you went from here to here, or here to here. But when you do the negative complex conjugate, you're going reflecting over the y-axis. Okie dokie. So here, to continue with the lesson, remember, game plan is, for this exploration, what we're going to figure out is, what happens geometrically when we multiply by a real number? And remember, a real number is on the number line and you're either rational or irrational, okay? And we're gonna go, oh, wow, this is really blurry. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so here, uh, try and do this part by yourself. And the notation is a little, oh God, why is it so blurry? Sorry. Uh, uh, let's, this is, let's see, is this, okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Um, here, the notation's a little weird, but what this is saying is it's a function. So if I take my L of, um, L of Z is equal to 2Z, what you're doing is if I take L of Z sub 1, my Z sub 1 is 3, so I'm taking L of 3. And what am I doing? I'm just putting 3 into this function, so it's just 2 times 3. Like, let's look at this one. This is going to be 2 times 2i, right? You're just, the function is telling you to do 2 times whatever you're plugging in. Look at this one. This is 2 times 1 plus i. This is what? 2 times negative 4 plus 3i. And this is 2 times 2 minus 5i. Okay? That's, that's all this was kind of telling you to do. And what we're going to do is, I want you to, let's put in the first point together. If this is my z sub 1, z sub 1 is, uh, where is z sub 1? Oh, it's 3. Okay, so this is my z sub 1. Uh, yeah, this is z sub 1. What I want you to do is, what happens with z sub 2, z sub 3, z sub 4, z sub 5? Okay, um, here, if you want, you could just fast forward. If you wanted to see how it's done, we'll do it step by step. So here, this is 6, right? So then this becomes this point here, 1, 4, 5, 6. So then this is z sub 2. I'm sorry, let's just, uh, this is just, uh, yeah, that's just 6, okay. Uh, this one, 2 times 2i, well, that will be 4i, so this will be what? Uh, 4i will be 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. This one will be 2 times, 2 plus 2i, and this will be where, let's put it with this color here, 2 plus 2i, two 2 plus 2i is right here. This is 2 plus 2i, right? Um, actually, no, we should say that's z sub 3, sorry. Um, what about the next one? If I have 2, this will be negative 8 plus 6i. So negative 8 plus 6i is somewhere here. And this is a z sub 4. And now here, 2 times 2 minus 5i will be a 4 minus 10i. So this will be 4 minus 10i. Okay. But let's take a look at how, what ha what's geometrically happening from this one to this one. So let's look at these questions here, and it will help us really kind of understand what's going on. Algebraically, how did L sub z... L of z equal 2 times z. 
So here, if you look at the first one, um, it it doubled. Okay, but geometrically, how did it affect z? So let's take a look at this. If I have z is equal to uh, what was z? It was three, but this is equal to what? This is equal to three three plus zero i. And this is equal to what? 2z was equal to 6. But that's equal to 6 plus 0i. So what I want you to do is find, calculate the modulus of this. What is the modulus of this? And what is the modulus of this? Okay? And if you just want to see how the solution is, if z was equal to 3 and or 3 plus 0i, and 2z was equal to 6, or 6 plus 0i, the modulus of z, of this 3, what, was, what does it mean to be the modulus? You're finding the distance. The distance was just a 3, right? And it kind of just makes sense by looking at the picture. It's 3 away from the origin. Here, the modulus of 2z was 6. So do you think this would be this true if we multiply it by a constant other than 2? Okay, before we do this, let's just take a look at what's happening. Here, the distance from here to here is 3, but the distance from here to here is 6. So what the essential question was saying, um, coming back to this, what happens geometrically when we multiply a real number? The distance of the new point, of the new point, is being scaled by a factor of the real number. Okay? Let's try and look at an example of what I'm talking about. Here, let w equal 3 plus 4i, and what I want you to do is find the modulus of w and find the modulus of 3w. If we take a look at what's happening here, if I take the modulus of w, it's 3 plus 4i, the modulus will look like this, and the distance from this w to the center is 5. Okay? But let's take a look at 3w. What is the modulus of 3w? If you do the math, right, what is 3w? 3w is 9 plus 12i. If I do you know, my formula of a squared plus b, the square root of this, it's 15. So the distance from here to here is 15. So what's happening is the distance is being from the point to the center is getting tripled once I multiply it by this, by some 3 from the original. Like let's say if I have w, let's say if I have z, z is over here. This is z. If I take z, the distance from here to here, whatever that is, if I do z times a half, right, then this is what, z over 2. z over 2 has to be somewhere over here. You see the distance is getting cut by half wherever it is. So just to sum things up, what's happening is the distances are being changed by a scale. Okie dokie. I hoped that helped and that wasn't too confusing. All right.